Hey guys, Mark here from Manage by Stats. I wanted to give you a quick walkthrough of all the features in our Wordsmith tool. So to get to the Wordsmith tool, you're first gonna to go to Catapult and then Wordsmith. The purpose of the Wordsmith tool is to help you optimize your Amazon listing by adding in high value keywords into your title, your bullets, and your description so you get the best Amazon SEO possible. When you first arrive here, you're gonna see two sections. The first section is where you'll be entering keywords. The other section here on the right is where your title, bullets, description, subject matter, and search term fields are. So there's a few ways to use this tool. First, you could manually copy and paste a bunch of keywords into this field here. And you could then copy and paste your title, bullets, description, and so on into these fields. Another way would be to import keywords from the distiller tool. Simply click this button here and then click open distiller. And then you can use this button here if you have any saved lists. You could also paste a list of keywords into here and take advantage of the distiller features to narrow down the list and then only import the results by clicking here. Another way would be if you had already been working in Wordsmith and you had saved a draft, you could then open that draft using the load save button. And the last way would be using the Keyword Scout and Distiller tools in connection with Wordsmith. You'd start out in the Keyword Scout tool, searching in ASIN, getting its keywords, and then exporting them over to Distiller, narrowing down the list of keywords to just those ones you'd want, and then exporting that list over to Wordsmith. Okay, so let's go through the buttons up here um, in the top right. You have the import button, which imports your products from Seller Central. So you have the listing details, the title, bullets, description, and whatnot. Uh, you just select your SKU from the drop-down list and then click uh, import product data. And you can then start working the keywords into your listing as desired. Next, you have the save button, which has two options, saving it as a draft or saving it to a linked SKU. And the second option of saving it to a link SKU, uh, this is required when you're uploading your changes to Amazon. Okay, next you're gonna have load saved, which uh, was mentioned earlier, but here you can load a draft you had worked on or load the details from a linked SKU. Then you have uh, export, which has two options, exporting the listing to Amazon, which will update your listing with all the changes you made uh, to your title, bullets, description, etc. Uh, the other option is exporting it as a CSV file for later use, you know, or copying it to the clipboard to paste elsewhere. And the last button up here is reset, which simply resets the tool to its blank fields. So depending on how you'd like to get keywords into the Wordsmith tool, uh, you have a bunch of different options and all of them work together to help take the time out of optimizing your listing. The basic sequence of things would be getting keywords into the Wordsmith tool and I'll just use Keyword Scout to grab some of the top keywords for a best ranking product. Checking on Amazon, I'll check for Muscle Roller Stick. And I think I'll pick this one. I'll grab the ASIN from up here and paste it into Keyword Scout. To keep this video short, I'll just sort by keyword rank and then put a max rank of 25,000. This narrows down the list to the top keywords that I'd want to consider right now. I'll then go through these and remove any that I feel don't apply to the product. And now I'll export these over to Distiller. And I'll just adjust these settings here and here. And now I'll export over to Wordsmith. Now I can see what I need to add to my listing. I can see I have these keywords that are already in some places in the listing. And I can also just check off this option down here to show me only the keywords that I am missing. And now I'll just go through all these keywords and find some appropriate places where I can enter them in. Once I'm done, I'll save this to a linked SKU. And then I'll go over to export and I'll select the product I'd like to export it to, which gives me the option to pick which SKUs I'd want to update. And then I can click export to Amazon. Generally changes take effect on Amazon within about 15 minutes. Okay, that's all there is to it.